Hi everyone, welcome to the shack again. Um, I'm out in the garden. It's very warm today actually, but very cloudy, it's sort of muggy. I've got a new collinear antenna, there it is, a whip. Um, no radials, and this has replaced my old collinear, which my friend and colleague, G1ZMA, Andy, built for me oh, a, couple of, a couple of years ago actually. He built it actually when I passed my um, foundation license um, because back in the day all, all I had for transmitting apart from my ELAD obviously which I bought for um, receive um, was a Bayer Feng and uh, we figured that I could join a net uh, with the Bayer Feng if, I, if it was attached to a larger antenna so um, he made me a collinear which I then stuck on a pole uh, and with the Bayer Feng he and I had several conversations on it in fact G1ZMA was the first station I ever worked uh, with my foundation license on either two or 70 I can't remember um, it actually fell apart uh, about a month ago the two of the radials fell off it and the actual sort of center conductor broke off from the soldered joint above the SO234 uh, socket so um, I was actually in the garden uh, here repairing it with my Iroda gas butane gas soldering iron which is a very handy bit of kit um, and so uh, and put it back together so anyway when he phoned me I think it was on Friday afternoon and said are you gonna be in and I sort of said uh, yeah he said that's good because um, I'm just finishing another antenna for you I was very pleased to take his call so uh, he brought it around and we put it up now the old collinear was basically leant up against that sort of tree or at least the, the, the carbon pole was leant against that tree um, and then supported on the ground by a tripod a bit like that really which is one of the supports for my uh, top band antenna um, and that wasn't really very satisfactory because as luck would have it it's been pretty windy on and off for the past few weeks and um, when the wind got so bad um, the whole thing would basically collapse and sort of fall over so um, uh, what we've done this time is we've literally strapped it to the fence uh, using the same pole so this is a sort of I realize this doesn't constitute um, a permanent solution but um, it's a bit more permanent than, uh, than what I was doing before and, uh, and probably this new antenna uh, which is basically just a whip is I'm gonna say it's probably about six to eight feet higher above the ground there's the tree than my uh, than my previous antenna um, in fact, my neighbour has a disco. I think I've probably showed it to you guys before. So that's that's what you, I suppose, constitute a permanent <laughs> arrangement. So anyway, um, so we put this antenna up and uh, the first thing we tried to do was um, open the um, Didcot repeater GB3DI, which uh, we managed to do. Um, and then this the Swindon repeater, which is Golf Bravo 3 Tango Delta, also opens. Uh, without a problem at all so um, definitely an improvement upon the performance of my old collinear with um, uh, with the same pole but it, as I said that antenna was a bit lower to the ground right now I'm testing it using FT8 on two meters and uh, we can have a look at that and um, I've made a few contacts actually, all in the UK, um, but this morning I've just left it running in the background while I've been working. And uh, what have we got? Um, I'm just, uh, M, okay, M, okay, some of these might have been from a while ago actually. Um, well, let's do the ones today uh, G7 Hotel Juliet X ray. We've worked. Uh, actually, we did, well, actually, that one didn't complete. Um, in fact, uh, oh, we didn't complete that. Okay, uh, that might have happened actually while I was actually talking to you. When was that? That was it, 11. No, no, okay, yeah, that was just before I started recording this video. Um, G1ZMA, the guy that built the antenna, we worked him earlier, a bit earlier. Um, G4 Yankee Tango Mike, um, and um. And then I think, uh, was that this morning? Yeah, G4 uh, VQZ this morning. Uh, and actually M0 Kilo Kilo Mike. So made a few contacts this morning. Now, that isn't unusual. 
um, on two meters, although I don't t t generally tend to make a lot of contact on two meters. Um, that's the actual design of the antenna. But if I just, this is basically three hours this morning. In fact, it might have been going a bit longer than three hours now, so I probably need to change this on PSK Reporter. Let's um, uh, change that to six hours. And what's interesting is this is the only sec the only about the second time I've used this antenna, but getting this deep into France, I don't think that has happened before. Uh, this is Fox One Echo Zulu Golf slash portable. So a portable station in France. I think that's the deepest my signal has been heard in France to date. Um, this station in Calais, F5 APQ, uh, copies me all the time. Um, but if I just, this is basically just this morning, so you can see that the signal this morning is getting as far north as Leeds, as far west as almost the west coast of, or west, you know, near St. David's, uh, Milford Haven area in Wales, uh, as far east as Norfolk, I think that's still Norfolk. Um, and then as far south as, um, well, France, basically. So there you go. Uh, I think overall, so overall, this antenna is performing better than my old antenna. Now, one other significant difference is that um, when Andy built this antenna, he checked the SWR as he went along. And when he brought it over, we connected it to the um, FT991. And... Uh, uh, and we and we did a SWR check, and it was perfect on both two meters and seventy. Um, there was zero reflected power, and the SWR basically needle the needle on his meter didn't move at all. So, uh, so that's definitely an improvement. On my old collinear, the SWR was somewhere around about one to two point two, and then I, I gave it a trim when it fell apart, and it went down I think to about one point eight. So, uh, we've definitely got an antenna that matches perfectly now where rather than one that approximately matches which will make a difference and for those of you that aren't familiar with the coaxial collinear and i'm not particularly familiar with them basically you need about a meter and a half of sort of rg58 you know the sort of scratch you have lying around and then um you uh basically you remove part of the shielding and expose part of the center core uh, using these uh, dimensions here, which then uh, will give you an antenna that will match uh, perfectly on 70 sems and on two meters. So you can, well, you can see actually, so you've got 28.8 centimeters uh, of coax and then 36 centimeters without, and then 23 with, and then 36 without. Um, and so there you go, so that's it. Now this was, this is described by M0 Zulu Papakilo. Um, I'm not sure if I've worked in before or not. That call sign does sound a bit familiar, but anyway, this is the design that Andy followed. Um, and but there are obviously you, there are other websites that describe basically the same thing. So um, the cost of this antenna, I think, was basically zero because it was basically just bits and pieces that he had lying around. He didn't even bother putting an SO239 connector on it because um, my uh, RG58 is terminated with a BNC, so basically cost zero pounds which um, to some of us is quite nice or quite useful. Um, definitely for him, because uh, as I said, he kindly built it for me. So um, uh, I'm very grateful. So there you go. So if I just go back to looking at my reception report. So it's quite nice actually to uh, have a new antenna. Uh, that's definitely, I'm definitely, my signals definitely seem to be getting out better um, and have FT8 running in the background as usual. Um, whilst working from home and um, I've had it sort of confirmed actually well I've confirmed to the people that work for me that we're going to carry on working from home for several months more so um, because the risk is not completely gone and we are being uh, very uh, we're working very efficiently actually remotely more so than I thought we ever would be um, so it's a model for my company that works so uh, you know um, I'll be here until the end of the year at least i think so uh, so there you go i thought i'd share with that with you so uh, coaxial uh, antenna uh, coaxial collinear antenna for two and two meters and 70 sems that actually works that um costs zero pounds basically if you've got all you need are those just those little bits and pieces uh lying around um in your shack and uh, you're good to go so uh, so there you go um I hope that was interesting and potentially useful. Thanks for watching.